everyone. Farmington Mayor Nate Duckett here, and the word of the day is revitalization in downtown Farmington. everyone, welcome to a new episode of The Mayor's Table. It's January 2020 and the city of Farmington has kicked off a huge project in the downtown. And as we said in the beginning, Sherry, it's all about revitalization. So with me today is Sherry Roach. She's our project manager for the downtown project. And we wanted to make sure we brought everybody kind of back into the fold again, because we've been talking about this project now for quite a while. I know we've done a few episodes here on the mayor's table talking about it, but now it's happening. You'll be able to see some changes happening. And we've already seen some changes happening, which I can tell you just from the removal of the trees has opened up a whole new world for me because now you can see the businesses' signs and their, their mm -hmm. facades. And it, it's just incredible how that little bit of a change can make a big difference. So, yes, sir. But we wanted to bring uh, kind of bring it back to the beginning of this real just briefly. Obviously, um, the city of Farmington has had a downtown revitalization project listed on the comprehensive plan since 2002. Uh, I believe there's some quotes in here on the wall from 19, 1990s. Yes, even as far back as 1968. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what you got to think too is that is it, it has grown and changed and things over the years, but, but maybe nothing to the degree that we're going to see now. Um, now what we've done is taken in a lot of input from many public meetings mm -hmm. through a, a number of different consultants over the years who've been here, the most recent one being Blue Zones and some mm -hmm. other groups. Um, and we're going to absolutely change what this streetscape looks like. Yes, it's going to be transformative. Transformative. Yes. That's the word. That, yes. It's going to be transformative and revitalized. Yes. Yes. Yes, and we've already seen evidence of that, and I haven't even begun the construction part of it. Yeah. Well, we're, we're now in, uh, I think we started January 7th, so we're a couple weeks in. So this is phase one that we're in right now. Yes, so it's to speak. Been split we'll into say, two phases, okay. half and half, all six blocks of downtown. We'll start at the first three blocks, which is on the east end. Okay, so closest to Miller Street? Miller Street to Allen. All right. So Allen will be critical to keep that north south uh, vehicles going, but um, uh, we'll be stopping just short of Allen, and we'll have three blocks in which to work to do a lot of the underground utilities. And I think your last statement there, the underground utilities, this project, when we initially discussed it, didn't include a lot of things that have now been added to it. Uh, but it made sense that if we were going to tear the street up, that we should probably take care of all the things underneath that needed to be uh, updated, as opposed to going back in later and pulling it all up again. Yes, and that actually accounts for a significant portion of the project. So we're going to start from the east end, going from Miller to Allen. Mm -hmm. People will still have access to downtown businesses, which is really critical yeah. for the community to know. While there may be some road closure sections of it, you're going to be able to access those through off of Arrington, off of Broadway, and all those parking lots. It'll be associated. a short little detour, use Broadway, um, which we've already gone through and done a lot of refresh on Broadway, did some resurfacing, restriping, upgraded the traffic signals, be much more efficient. Um, so if you move over to Broadway, it's not that far, just one block to the south, but all of the alleyways will be open, all the parking lots will be open and accessible during construction. It'll be a short little road closure between Miller and Allen. Okay. Where could people go if they want to make sure they're staying up to date on, on how the project is going? Where, what do they need to tune into? There's several different ways that we've been communicating with the public, but the first one that you should um, look into is www.heartoffarmington.org. Okay. That'll take you directly to the web page that is set up for the construction project. The weekly updates will be on there, a lot of the history, the backgrounds on there, um, the safety features that we're installing. Um, so all of the information should be right there of all the major questions that are usually asked. Okay, and we're in the HQ downtown right now, right next to the Chili Pod 119 West Main Street. That's it's right. becoming a very popular address here. Yes. Um, and you can see behind us, obviously, a number of the drawings, of uh, the plans for what will be the final, kind of the final product, uh, which we believe will be done by November 1st, 2020. Yes, substantial completion November 2020. Okay. We did that on purpose. We, the reason we're starting it now in the winter, mm -hmm. literally January 1 almost, is we wanted to have it completed so that the businesses would not be impacted during the Christmas season. That is correct. We wanted to start after the 19, uh, 2019 
a season and start as soon as possible, which we gave notice to proceed January 6th. And that gives us the largest window in which to do that enhancement project before the next holiday season. So we have the website, we have the headquarters here where people can come in, business owners, whoever passerbys, mm -hmm. come and see what's going on and ask questions. And I think it's important, one of the questions obviously we get is why, why are you doing this project? Mm -hmm. uh, why are you spending this kind of money in downtown? And, and people have different perceptions of what downtown is. Um, me personally, I, I love the restaurants in downtown. I love the little shops that we have here. We want to see that arts, entertainment, uh, local feel. We want that to grow here. Mm -hmm. um, one of the key words that we've talked about is placemaking. Yes. And it's, I'm sure people, you can, you can read about placemaking. I just wanted to read this. Placemaking inspires people to collectively reimagine and reinvent public spaces at the heart of every community. And so you're trying to be able to provide people kind of that social exciting, comfortable, whatever it is that they like, trying to find uh, many things in one area that different people can do. Yeah, within with a, a comfortable walking distance. Within a comfortable walking distance. And walking is gonna be key. This project is really designed to enhance the pedestrian street experience. Uh, one of the quotes that you have here, I read that today, dealt with the fact that we're trying to put more people in downtown and less vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, many folks over the past couple of weeks have come to me and said, you know, I've been to different communities where they've actually cordoned off the downtown area and made it a walking only or biking only zone. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if we're to that point in our existence. I think let's, let's, let's get this project done because it's going to change the way that we see our downtown and the way that others coming into this, to Farmington see it as well. Yes, we have seen a huge amount of tourists in this area come into HQ asking about what we're doing. So as we go into, you know, we're going to be going into February, we're in phase one right now. Um, really the, the overall message we want to make sure is being communicated out there is that you, we need to keep shopping in our favorite stores and keep coming to our favorite restaurants. Yes, we have over a dozen of food establishments from cafes, coffee shops to full service restaurants in the downtown area in a very short uh, amount of, uh, of area. So we have over a dozen in within six blocks of either on Main Street or on Broadway. And I think that surprises people sometimes. You know, it's interesting when you mentioned the number of restaurants and businesses downtown, um, because if you haven't been down here in a while, now's the time to come back and refresh yourself because this is going to change. I mean, the long-term vision here and kind of what I would say the public-private partnership component is to entice new investment into mm -hmm. this area because we see it as such an important economic development zone. Uh, obviously, we have an MRA commission that's completely dedicated to the Animus District, the Downtown District, the Civic Center District, and you can already tell the difference that has been made with the Civic Center remodel mm -hmm. um, and what this is going to do to enhance that experience and vice versa. But it's not just about businesses, is it? It's going to also be about getting people to move in to these upper lofts mm -hmm. of these buildings. And there already are individuals who live up um, in these areas, but we want that walkability component where I can go to the, the restaurant, the grocery store, I can do my business and not have to get into a car to go and do it. And we have that space right here for those who want to do that. Full of potential. Yeah. So the place making component and the private partnership component, I mean, these are all parts of why we chose to do this project and the importance of doing it now. In 2000, well, was it when I ran in 2018 for mayor, we talked about the urgency of the next four and five years of what this community is going to look like as we've seen the decrease in industry jobs um, and how we're going to remain attractive in a place that people want to come and, and not just visit but live. And the downtown project was and has been slated certainly by every economic development uh, director that we've had come through San Juan County as the number one thing that we could do as a community to create vibrance and reinvigorate mm -hmm. the town. Um, so there's a lot of reasons why we chose to do it. And I'm certainly grateful that you've become you're the project manager because I can tell by your attention to detail that we're going to have a successful project this year, Sherry. <laughs> I've been really impressed with the downtown businesses and those that have been interested in opening their business in the downtown area strategically, intentionally, because of what we're doing with the streetscape. And we're hearing a lot of chatter. I've had a lot of people come up and say, hey, I actually... Are there, well, I can't get into the details of that, but individuals who said, oh, look, I've, I'm looking into this building. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm thinking about doing there. Or, hey, you know what? I've just bought this building just off of the downtown area, and I think you guys need to consider moving the project all the way out to this area. Mm -hmm. um, so that is the type of positive um, 
vibe that we really want to have surrounding this, understanding that it's going to be 10 months of construction, which is never fun, mm -hmm. um, but it's going to make it an adventure. And that's a part of my personality traits. I take those personality tests and it's all, I'm all about adventure. So coming down here and parking somewhere, maybe you don't usually park and walk into that business. Get out and explore. Yeah. Um, there will be construction fencing as a hard barrier between the pedestrian access and the construction zone, but you will be able to actually observe what's happening. Um, and it's, so it's something you can actually come down and see yeah. for yourself. We're gonna do uh, some additional mayor's tables from downtown and from businesses in this area, just to continue to highlight mm -hmm. uh, kind of this important economic zone that we're focused on and the businesses that are a component of that right now. Okay. Um, thankful for, for the different, the partnership that's been built with the city and the businesses has really, really been key. And uh, you've been an important part I've enjoyed part of that. that part of, of this project. Yeah. So don't forget, heartoffarmington.org. Very important. So its own separate website. I mean, you can go through the city of Farmington's website to try and find it mm -hmm. through fmtn.org, but you're saying heart of Farmington. Heartoffarmington.org. Easy to remember. That is um, the slogan for downtown. That is part of our logo. We are the heart of Farmington. We're called that quite a bit. And so it's easy to remember, heartoffarmington.org. Also, the city's enhancement map will also always have a lot of the information on the road closure part of it. Really important, too. You go to the city of Farmington's main page, page. projects and construction. Yep. It's a little stamp there, and, and it bit. opens up, and then you click, and it brings up this enhancement map that shows you all the projects going on, yes. uh, road closures. And, and when you click on it, it actually tells you what the project is. Mm -hmm. So a lot of really good detailed information for folks. So some important things to take away. Um, notice to proceed was January 6th, substantial completion November. It's a 10-month project. Essentially, phase one and phase two will be half and half. Businesses will be open. Pedestrian access will be maintained to all the businesses and buildings during construction. Alleys are open. Parking lots are open. Um, come and support your downtown neighbors, your friends, and uh, bring, bring your family and friends with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And 10 months from now, we'll be having another conversation. And it, we'll be walking the streets and talking about it, and it's going to be amazing. So stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in today, uh, today's Mayor's Table. Downtown is in the process of revitalizing itself, and we just ask you to continue to shop and uh, be a patron of our local businesses here in the heart of Farmington. We'll see you next time.